Namaste. There is a Native American story. An old tribesman was teaching his grandson about life. He said to the boy, a fight is going on inside, inside of me. It is a terrible fight. And the fight is between two wolves. One is evil. It is anger, hatred, greed, pride, arrogance, guilt, ego. And another is good one. It is love, humility, compassion, kindness. The same fight is going on inside you and inside everyone else. The young boy thought about it a little and asked his grandfather, which wolf will win? The grandfather replied, the one you will feed. This parable serves as a powerful reminder of the inner fight that every human being must face. Regardless of the type of person you are and the kind of the life you lead, at some point of your life, you will find the conflicting emotions inside you. Whether the fight is between anger and peace or between resentment and compassion, it is important to recognize the conflicting feelings inside you and to feed the values and choices that matter the most. By exercising your freedom of choice, you can make a life-changing decision of which wolf you want to feed. Do you feed the wolf who is hungry for anger, guilt, hatred, etc.? This evil wolf is also your inner critic. It is the one who tells you you are a failure. It is the one that tells you nobody loves you. Nobody understands you. This wolf is a representation of your inner depression, anxiety and low self-esteem. Do you want to feed this wolf? Are you feeding the wolf already? Think about this. By cutting off his food supply, you will be able to make the choice to use your energy and resources on positive thoughts, emotions and feelings. While you can recognize the negative emotions occurring within you, you need not become attached to them. You need not continue to pay attention to them. 
you are shifting the focus is a signal to the wolf that you are not interested in giving him the food it may take some time for the wolf to lose the power and energy but eventually it will drift away so you need to do two things one is you should become aware of the dominant mindset in you and second is you should be able to switch to the mindset that serves you the best the more you focus on the positive emotions the less room for the negative emotions inside you so this simple truth is beautifully illustrated in this parable you should always aware of this you are always having this power of choice use it wisely in every situation you can choose the positive thoughts emotions and behaviors your choice will decide your freedom and your choice will design your your destiny thank you